Hi, my name is Morty Gilden, and in this episode of Info Not Mercial, we're going to be reviewing the Magic Jack. Now, the Magic Jack is an interesting little device. The claim is that it can replace your landline telephone by routing all your calls local and long distance over the internet. But unlike other internet-based telephones, there are no monthly fees. Sound too good to be true? Well, we thought so. So we decided to put those claims to the test, and we found some things that might surprise you. Stick around and we'll show you what we liked about it and what we didn't. Now, the concept of routing phone calls over the internet isn't really anything new. The technology, also called voice over IP, has been in existence for a while and popularized by services such as Vonage and Broadvoice. The difference between Magic Jack and all these, though, is that these other services, they give you these big boxes, which uh, one end of this plugs into your internet connection, whether it's into your router or directly into your modem, um, and then the other end of it, you take a standard phone jack and you plug it in and it makes your phone work. Uh, and this is a completely self-contained box. However, the Magic Jack doesn't have one of these. The Magic Jack is just this tiny little adapter that plugs into your computer. And it uses your computer's internet connection and some special software instead of getting its own. Now, while this concept works and doesn't require one of these other boxes, the problem with relying on your computer's internet connection is that the computer has to be on for this to work. So if you're the sort of person that turns off their computer a lot, or your computer goes into standby or hibernates, so that might be a problem. Magic Jack relies on software installed on the computer to operate. When you insert the adapter, it will automatically install itself and run. Now this is convenient because it makes the Magic Jack almost completely portable. Just take this adapter with you, plug it into any computer, and you've got a phone line. In fact, the call logs and phone book can even be stored on the device's memory and follow you from computer to computer, which is nice when you're traveling and a very creative feature. In fact, for the ultimate in portability, you don't even need to bring a phone handset with you. You can use your computer's microphone and speakers as a speakerphone, similar to the way people use Skype. Now, the software that runs the Magic Jack can be kind of annoying. Whenever someone in your house makes a call, or whenever your phone rings, the software pops up above any windows you're working on. Now, you can always just minimize the window again, but that can get irritating pretty quickly. And the window that pops up features a huge advertising area. Now, so far, we've only seen ads for Magic Jack services, which isn't so annoying. However, as the business matures, I expect we'll be seeing some real ads there soon. Now, the Magic Jack also comes with a free voicemail service that picks up after either four rings or if you're offline, similar to the way a cell phone works. Your phone is off, it goes straight to voicemail. It even has this nice little option to email your voicemail as attachments, which is a really nice feature. Now, the problem that we found, however, is that it always picks up after four rings, and there's no way to change that, which means that if you wanted to use your own answering machine, you'd have to set it to pick up beforehand at three rings or less. It's kind of odd that you can't change that. We found that in most situations, the Magic Jack performed as expected. However, it wasn't without its service hiccups. For starters, when you try to call somebody who was not available, the phone didn't play a busy signal. It just went back to dial tone. Same thing happened when there was a network problem. It didn't tell us that we couldn't make a call, it just gave us a dial tone again. You also apparently need to dial the entire 10-digit number, including area code that you're calling, even if you're calling the same area code that you're in. Also, on our test phone, we found that the caller ID wasn't working. However, the caller ID did work on one of our other phones. Apparently, some very specific cordless phones have a compatibility problem with the Magic Jack's caller ID system. We switched to a newer Uniden handset, and it works just fine, but that's something to look out for. Another thing we found is that when you place a call on hold, the caller hears some standard fare elevator music. We found that kind of amusing and unexpected. A particularly frustrating thing that we found is that the Magic Jack doesn't offer customer support via phone, with the only option being an online chat support system. Now, forgetting the irony involved in a telephone company that doesn't offer telephone support, this could be kind of irritating. Now, while we did find the online representative to be helpful in answering our questions, some people may prefer to have a phone service that they can call and speak to a live person when there's a problem. I'd like to take a moment to point out that the Magic Jack is still a relatively new service and they're improving it every day. For example, about a year ago, our local area code wasn't available, nor was there a Macintosh version of the software. Uh, now both of those are options. Currently, the Magic Jack does not support porting in a phone number or a Linux computer or adjusting the voicemail settings as we mentioned earlier. However, all three of those things have recently been announced as uh, upcoming features. So. The Magic Jack right now is a pretty good service, and I'm really confident that it'll just get better over time as they improve the service and offer more options. Uh, just to recap the pros and cons. The pros are, you get unlimited calling to the US and Canada, you get a free incoming phone number, because the Magic Jack is just a USB device, it's very portable and lets you take your phone line with you, voicemail arrives as attachments in your email, you get on hold music, and the biggest pro is the price. The Magic Jack only charges $20 for every year of service, that's cheaper than most of these other voice over IP guys charge you per month. Now as far as the cons, 
The software is kind of irritating, the way it pops up. The caller ID is incompatible with certain handsets, especially ones by Uniden. The online chat is the only way to get help. The service sometimes isn't flawless. Sometimes it just returns a dial tone, and you have to hang up and call again. You can't adjust how many rings it takes for the voicemail to pick up, and you can't port your phone number yet. Bottom line, Magic Jack is a pretty good device. It worked better than I expected. Uh, however, it's not as reliable or as fully featured as some of the uh, big names in internet telephones. However, keep in mind, you'll be paying less for an entire year of service with them than these guys will charge you in just one month. If you're the sort of person that just wants a second line around the house, or if you have a cell phone or something else to fall back on, I think it's a fantastic product, and you definitely can't beat the price. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our other reviews here at the greatest review website in the world, infonotmercial.com.